Hello welcome this is one India news and I am Akash India gave their veteran fast bowler Ashish Nehra a perfect send off by winning the first T20 international at Delhi by 53 runs New Zealand are 0-1 down in the three match series and they will look to bounce back in the second T20 which is scheduled to be played on November 4th at the Swarashtra Cricket Association Stadium at Rajkot For India just one change is expected from the squad as Ashish Nehra hung his boot in the last game and he could be replaced either by Kuldeep Yadav or Mohammad Shiraz For India Rohit Sharma and Shikhar Dhawan were involved in a massive 158 run opening partnership in Delhi and the duo will have a huge expectation from the team to provide another solid start to the innings Virat Kohli has been in a good form since the ODIs and he too will be the danger man for the Kiwis. Ajwainder Chahal and Aksar Patel both picked up two wickets apiece and did not allow the Kiwis to score freely. Bhuvneshwar Kumar took three wickets in the only T20 game at this ground against Aussies and the swing bowler will be the key for India especially during the power play. India was successful in breaking the T20 jinx against New Zealand with a comfortable 53 run victory in the last game. The host will now go to the second T20 international having won 3 of their last 4 matches. Meanwhile, New Zealand are not expected to make any changes in their lineup despite having an off day at Delhi. With Martin Kapteel struggling on the store, New Zealand will rely heavily on Colin Munro. Ken Williamson and Tom Latham to score big. Latham has been their most reliable batsman so far and he will be the key man for his side at Rajkot as well. Trent Bolt and Tim Southey spearhead the Kiwi bowling attack but they were expensive in the last two matches. So the focus now shifts to the spinners Mitchell Statner and Ish Sodhi who was the pick of the lot in the first T20 international with a figure 2 to 25 from 4 overs New Zealand have now lost back to back T20 encounters Kiwis have played 5 T20 fixtures so far in this year while they won the first 3 of those against Bangladesh they have lost last two one against South Africa earlier in the year and now against India India are ahead by 1-0 and this will take a lot of pressure off them in the upcoming game new zealand on the other hand find themselves in a must win situation and there will be a tension in their dressing room martin kaptil is already out of form and now the indian bowlers have devised a successful strategy to trap colin munro their pace bowling has also been off track in the last two games which is another problem the kiwis will have to deal with India after being stunned in the first ODI have come back nicely to win the next three fixtures and one feels that this is a good chance for them to seal the series at Rajkot only one T20 has been played at the Swarashtra Cricket Association Stadium and it was won by a side that fielded first the pitch here has been generally excellent for batting and is known to remain true throughout the match so taking this as well as the due factor into account the toss winning team in this match would prefer to bowl first well that's all for now but for more news and updates log on to oneindia.com and please don't forget to like and share this video also don't forget to subscribe to one india news channel